we get to an opinion on the new smoking ordinance coming to UTA. Bianca Montes reports on the group Invisible Children and how they show students their cause in the form of a documentary. With a campus smoking ban going into effect next semester, officials are considering the idea of self-policing, making students responsible for keeping their peers from smoking on campus. If it's a, a figure of authority telling me I can't smoke like a police officer who actually has a symbol like a uniform or something like that, that's okay. I, I might put away my cigarettes. Not that I smoke. But if it's somebody else, like just somebody random coming up, up to me and saying, yeah, you can't smoke, and tell it on me, or just like middle school or elementary school telling on each other, it's a bad idea. I think that the police need to enforce it and the students aren't going to listen to other students just by saying, hey, don't smoke. Like, that would never work. So if a student asked me, I might not stop. Honestly, yeah. But if a police officer did? So yeah, probably yeah. I would stop. Right. Because I think it, that's why. I wouldn't go telling anyone to stop smoking. I wouldn't, I, no. That's how you get punched in the face, you know. I wouldn't go tell anyone to stop, to stop smoking, really. I don't think people would get beat up, but I think that it would, I don't think it would be effective. Yeah. I don't think they need to, like, actually enforce rule or, like, de I know they have maybe designated places for smoking. Let's say this area for yeah. sure was, like, yeah. made for smokers, like the smokers bench, whatever you may call it, then fine. But the fact that you're just canceling smoking all together, you know, people might go crazy because of that. If people are going to want to smoke, they're going to smoke regardless if there's a thing between the students that's telling them not to. They need to make it a school rule where you can't smoke yeah. on campus, period. Like, it needs to be enforced by the police, not other students. It seems more serious. For it to be, for yeah. it to be more effective, it would just be better if they, the police enforced it. The group Invisible Children came to UTA Wednesday evening to show students their documentary, Tony, which followed the violence that was happening in northern Uganda. Invisible Children raises awareness about child soldiers in Africa. They really do have a really good message. Like every single documentary I've seen, it's like just very inspiring. And I feel like so many people haven't seen it, like even heard of Invisible Children. And this would be a perfect opportunity to get their name out on a college campus. I've heard about Invisible Children, but I've never seen anything about it. I heard about it last semester that I was coming here. And I'm also involved with the Wide Awake and Bible Study, that BSM sets up and I heard about it and I was really excited that they're coming here and I really wanted to come and see what it was all about. Feature of the film, Tony Bozzello shared how he felt about Invisible Children. And in 2003 when I was 14, I met the fund of Invisible Children. They came to one of the missionary hospitals where I was night commuting and they asked if they could film what was happening in my life and I allowed. In that same year when they were coming back to America, I told them not to forget about us because so many journalists have been going to Uganda, they film us, and they could not do anything about what was happening in our life. But I'm so glad that Bobby, Jason, and Lauren did not forget about us. Afterwards, students talked about how the film impacted them. Do you think you'll uh, share with people what you learned here tonight? Yeah, I think so, definitely. And what about you? Yeah, and mm -hmm. I want to do the 25 for your silence stuff mm -hmm. and like raise money. Invisible Children roadie Caitlin Goff talked about how to make a difference in the world. Invisible Children is a call to action, um, and so if Invisible Children is what moves you, get involved with Invisible Children. But if it's not, if you know about another um, issue in the world that, that drives you and moves you to take action, then, then do that. Want more videos? Check out some of these recent Shorthorn features.